we start the chapter called the force and laws of motion okay so in the last chapter of motion we had seen that there was some velocity particles were were moving with some velocity they were being accelerated they were being decelerated but we never talked about the <clears throat> cause of the velocity cause of the acceleration or cause of the deceleration okay so <clears throat> so so when we were studying motion okay motion in a straight line we talked about velocity acceleration okay but we didn't know the cause of the velocity or acceleration what were what was causing the velocity what was causing the body to accelerate okay in this chapter we look look after what was the what was the cause of that motion why it was moving why was it accelerating right so <clears throat> so in this chapter in this chapter we'll see the cause of the motion cause of the motion okay what causes the motion fine what causes the motion now now our common experience says that that when we hit a football or maybe throw a ball or maybe slide something then after some time what happens the body comes to a rest okay so earlier the scientists used to believe that 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 in early days in early days people believed the days people believed that 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 rest rest was the natural state of motion was the natural state of of objects what they meant by this was that, that the rest was the natural state of the object so what happened the objects wanted to attain that norm na natural state okay they wanted to attain that natural state so they 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 even when thrown they'd come to rest why because they wanted to be at rest that is how the scientists thought about about the motion till the point till the point that galileo and newton started thinking about it okay so so this persisted this persisted till the times of till the times of galileo and newton okay we'll soon discuss what they said and and what was their conclusion but but this was the normal thought that okay so so they they like to be they that is their natural state so they actually want to go to that state that's why everything that you throw hit or do whatever that comes to a rest okay now once these these two scientists start thinking things changed but as for the motion even we are capable of thinking okay on our own what is responsible for motion okay what is responsible for motion 
force is a technical word, right? We know that maybe if we if we push something, then it it sort of if it was moving, then it starts moving faster. That means it has accelerated. Or if it or if something is moving and 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 you apply an opposite push, right? So so it will it will start decelerating. It will start decelerating, right? Or if there is something at rest and you hit it maybe with your foot or maybe with a stick or maybe with a bat, then from rest it may attain some velocity. Or maybe a ball is thrown at you and you maybe kind of hit it, okay? Then, then you are able to change the direction, okay? So, 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 so what causes motion, okay? So, we have, we, we, we understand in a very, very layman's term, what is the cause of the motion? What causes the motion? The motion is caused by either a push, okay, or a pull, or a hit or a kick okay these are the things which cause motion okay and together they are termed as force together they are termed as force now what is force It is something, it is something that we, that no one has seen or, okay, it is not seen or, or tasted or heard or, or maybe touched or felt, okay, not seen, not tasted, not heard, not touched, okay, not, not smelt, okay. So, so what I am trying to say that all your five sensory organs, they will not be able to feel it, okay, they will not be able to feel it fine so then what is it oh, you can say uh, uh, but but though i cannot see this okay so though force though force cannot be perceived perceived by the sensory organs okay by the sensory organs though the force cannot be uh, can't be perceived can't be perceived by the sensory organs its effect can definitely be felt is it not can definitely be felt. Its effect is quite visible. So I see suddenly that a ball is lying and suddenly someone comes and kicks it and I see the ball flying. Obviously I can see the effect of the force. Right. Okay. Or maybe a ball is already coming and someone hits it and changes the direction. So I see the impact of the force. Right. Okay something is coming and you try to oppose its motion you see that it comes to a stop so you see the effect of the force in in in, in action or or maybe maybe you 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 take a ball in your hand and you try to squeeze it hard and and if it's a soft ball or a rubber ball then it gets squeezed it changes its shape then you see that you know that the force 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 is in action or maybe you have a stick and you break it okay then you know that some force must must have broken it 
though still after the force is gone or during the force was there you'll not be able to see what the force is fine but the impact of the force is is can that can definitely be felt okay so that is something that we'll focus on okay so what does a force do okay so what can a force do so if if we if we if we can definitely see the effect of it then let us try to discuss the effects because it is the it is the occurrence of the effect that tells me about the presence of the force correct so what are the effects of the force okay so so what are the effects of the force yes so 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 number one effect is that it can it can move a stationary body is it not yes. it can move a stationary object is it not so if the object is at rest it can move it okay what next it can stop a moving body it can change the velocity of a moving body it is it can change that is increase or decrease right by change i mean both it can change the velocity of a moving body of a moving object okay when it increases the velocity of the body it is known as it is known to have caused an acceleration and if it reduces it it is causing retardation if the velocity of the body if the velocity of the body increases if the velocity of the body increases the force is said to have accelerated is said to have accelerated the body okay is said to have accelerated the body and if it reduces the velocity if it decreases the velocity if the velocity if the velocity of the body decreases the force is said to have said to have retarded retarded or decelerated the body right then what it can do it can change the direction right it can change the change the direction of a moving object direction of a moving object okay it can change the direction of a moving object what else can it do it can change the shape and size of an object it can change the shape and size of an object shape and size of an object example uh, pushing a rubber ball 
Yeah, squeezing a, hmm? squeezing a rubber ball. Yeah, stretching a rubber band. Stretching a rubber band. Correct? So, so it changes the shape. It can change the direction. Direction that we know. Maybe, maybe you're playing, playing football and the ball is already coming and you, you kick it. Okay? And, and, and you can also do so many things simultaneously. You can change the direction and you can also increase the speed. No? Okay, that happens. I can change the direction. Maybe, maybe a, a baller balls and the batsman hits it and he hits it even for a slow baller. He hits it with such a force that many a times you must have seen the fielders get hurt. Right? So, he has done both. He has increased the, increased the speed and he has changed the direction many a times. And absolutely, when, when they are hitting the straight drive, they have, they have changed the change the direction by 180 degrees, right? It was coming this way, they have sent it back. Okay, so it is not to say that it can only do this, it can also do so many things in combination, okay? The force can, the force can, can do any or any or many of the above at the same time at the same time right they can do this at the same time fine so so it may deshape also something at the same time fine we understand that we must have seen that many a time what we see it is the muscular force which is which is doing all this maybe maybe you are trying to press against someone or you are trying to push maybe a cart or or you are pedaling your bicycle okay but then there are many other kinds of forces which are in which are in 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 um, they, they are in action and that will discuss next right hmm electrostatic forces gravitational forces 